Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we are playing Dragon Age 2. Alright, we're in the middle of a quest called Inside Job. So, let's get to killing. Always a fun way to start off an episode. Oh, I'm taking a lot of aggro. To be fair, I did my giant Tempest Aloy. I'm watching my health. I'm just being lazy about my mana and my potion. You should be good, yeah? That was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. <laughs> Brecker must be involved. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this... The rest of his life will be very short and painful. We have to stop these attacks once and for all. Oh, we will. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. All right. So we were supposed to be stopping this take and shipment. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Since we didn't get to it in time, we at least stopped the guys from running off with it. Okay, so we can go and find her. And I I think this is our last one before Demands of the Cune or whatever our Cune related quest was called. All right. I have no idea where this quest is gonna lead. Oh, God, I spoke too fucking soon. Jesus. Don't let them get away. What? You Coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Damn. Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. Present minor misunderstandings aside, I believe our purposes are the same. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. Uh, okay. Also, very unfortunate that she died. I know she wasn't necessarily the most scrupulous individual, but... Turn up your purses, oh. Gertwall. The leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. I always thought that was her! I, I thought that was her. Doesn't that look... Okay. All right. <laughs> Could have sworn. Oh, also, I'm super excited. This isn't going to air until Friday. Um, but it's Thursday right now. And I'm going to a BTS concert tonight. It's via movie. But still, it's kind of the same thing, but no. I didn't get to go to their actual concert when they were in Dallas. So this is the best I get. It's here for like three days in the United States. So we snag tickets really quick. Um, it took a long time to decide he was done. But yeah, I have on my BTS shirt and everything. 
repping my chim chim. So excited. And that's the reason why this isn't going to be edited until the next day. It's because I don't have enough time to edit. I just have enough time to record. Ooh, mages. Well, alchemist, but... I need you to stop that, my friend. Oh, I can't attack him while he's in the bubble. That's why nothing's working. Okay, but now you're not in the bubble, and I'm gonna need you to calm down. Mm -mm. There we go. Guys, I'm gonna need you to come over here and do things. Uh, where did he go? I don't like the way it tilts my camera up. No, attack him, you crazy lady. Ugh. Come on, come on. There we go. Fenders needs heals, but he's fine now. All right. So I wonder why this guy's attacking us. Also, that looked like a nice mage robe. Is that everything? Okay. Man, I hate these murals. Every time. I wonder, our, our dude doesn't have anything to do with this, does he? What was his name? Sabine? I can only remember that because it's so close to, oh, I see you. It's so close to Sabeel. And I love Sabeel. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. Wow, that's rude. You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. Yes. You own half a stake and a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. What? Why? Why do you care, bruh? Oh, is he gone? Yeah, I'm a mage, friend. Yeah. Ender's honey. Oh, I'm attacking somebody behind me. We done? That was disconcerting. I'm sorry. I was like trying to figure out why Anders wasn't doing stuff, but all right. Man, is this our last little side quest of Act Two? Okay. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna do Brecker last. Not going to happen. I don't think you can get it, sweetie. But we'll try. I can't oh, maybe. Imagine what it must be like to lose your family. Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm sorry. But thank you, Fenris, for the kind sentiment. Oh, well. That wasn't really helpful at all, now, was it? Now we need a hawk estate. I guess we just go back home. I thought that was going to lead somewhere. I hope all is well. There's a letter for you. Strange how the messages never come while you're home. All right. Oh, we already did this. So, well, on one of our many, many playthroughs of that quest. So now where does that leave us for... This, what is it? Inside job, I think? Is that it? There has to be more. Okay, good. I was like, the fuck? 
Let's go see what's going on there. Now that we've picked up following the coon, we'll be good to start that too whenever we're done. And I should look at our gear. I know, I know, I know I need to. I'm just the worst. I'm trying to that I found the lady. thieves responsible for the cargo thefts. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolve, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. Good. You should treat them fairly, too. All right, I'm gonna save. Because I want to make sure. Actually, we just have DJ. Demands the Kuhn. Okay, and he did that. Okay, so do we want to go speak to the Canari first to talk to him about this? I kind of want to try that. Can we try that? How do I get out of here? I was so close to an exit, wasn't I? Excuse me, dwarf man. I hope it doesn't rain. All right. If we can't get in there and can't talk to him about this, then we'll just go to the Viscount and, and start the quest. I just don't know. Docs. And so I want to try to find out. Because if I, like, was just playing this on my own or, like, an RPG, um, like a tabletop RPG, I should specify, I would go and see if we could negotiate something. So let's try that. It looks like it's closed, but we'll see. All are forbidden, except you, for now. Okay, thank you. Let's see if he'll even talk to us. We say, so yeah, we did. Human, my delegate was taken from the Viscount's doorstep, and he still claims control of this city. I thought it impossible, but I respect him even less. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? So when I say the abuse of zealots, are we talking about the bigots who hate the Canari? I don't know what other word is. I don't want to defend them. I want to be very frank, because this is wrong. You shouldn't treat people like that, period. A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept oh. that. I expected worse. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind, and how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool, but you are not. Panahedan, Hawk, I will keep one good thought about your kind. Fucking sweet! Oh, buddy. Go, Hawk. Another time. Okay, that was it then. Good, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. It's always a good thing to be honest, even if the truth is shitty. I'm sure there are extenuating circumstances, but they're few and far between. I'm a big proponent of open and honest communication. If there's something you can't be open or honest about, might want to examine why. All right. Let's see what mess has been made of this this time. It's such a maze following all of this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Hello. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. It's his life. He can do whatever the fuck he wants with it. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position... He's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canari hands. At worst, I lose my son. But it's not your choice to make. 
I, I understand why he's concerned because it will reflect on him and people, and not in a bad way, but in a way that other people will take advantage of. Does that make sense? They're going to use and twist this to fit their ends, which is shitty. It is. But I don't think that the Viscount should micromanage his son's life in order to stay in power. Does that make sense? Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Ahawk. Mm-hmm. The Arashok says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions? I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. I'm going to stay diplomatic, even though I don't necessarily agree with this sentiment. I mean, it's a true sentiment, but it's not necessarily how I would reply to this ideally. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Ooh, all right. All right. Oops, that's the wrong way. I'm kind of rolling this around in my head and wondering where this could possibly go. Um, while we're here, let me check and make sure that I've got the right lineup for this. I was taking these boys along because I need to work on rivalry with Fenris, but I'm not even sure that that's the appropriate choice for this quest, even though he might likely be because he's the one who knows anything about the Canari. Um, but I also don't want to accumulate friendship because we're really lukewarm with Fenris. So let me check that really quick. The the matcha matcha matcha. All right, we're supposed to take Fenris, so let's go. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Is this like traveling in Origins, where sometimes you just have the random encounters? We have more. Lady, what the? These are not the streets, by the way, unless this is like the streets of like Dark Town. It says mercenaries attacked us in the streets. It was not very accurate. Okay, so we're free to go now? Okay, I thought there was something back there. So who hired that lot? anti Canari, Anti-Viscount? Or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued? Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. That was so cynical, my dear. I mean, I guess it's an option. Three years can do a lot to a person. All right, friends. All are forbidden, except you, for now. Oh well, no. Hope the Arashok hasn't grown attached to the Viscount's boy. I mean, but what if he wants to stay? He should have every right to stay if he feels like it. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat. And fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But mm -hmm. despite lies and fear, Baas still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. 
The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, everything else is sarcastic or just outright aggressive, and I just can't. I don't want to instigate anything. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connection? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm, did the Viscount send those mercenaries? That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. The Viscount would involve the Chantry? No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I mean, I think she needs to die, but I think we need to be more diplomatic about this. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. Vidathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. I mean, I, I sympathize, I agree, uh, but let's be absolutely goddamn sure before we take decisive action. Shit. That horrible woman! <laughs> Why have we not killed her yet? I guess she's always been just slippery and slimy enough to... Good night. At the Chantry, exactly what I wanted. Please tell me he's alive. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. You've been a headache. But to outright kill someone? That's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter. On both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! I have so many words for this. But I think we can begin and end with the fact that religion can be used for horrible, terrible things. And that this is an extremely selfish, self-centered endeavor. And I'm not going to get into it at greater length than that.
Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted, all too well. I loathe the Chantry with every fiber of my being. I want to be angry so bad, but I'm going to choose to be diplomatic because there are times in life where just being the better person is a value. Even if it doesn't change anything, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get fucked up anyways. I'm pretty sure she's going to believe Patrice anyways. But we are doing what's right regardless. And we're not sinking to their fucking level. Forgive me, Your Grace. But you must know the truth about what happened here. Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. It's a ruse, Your Grace. Seamus was killed to set people against the Canari. This is no longer a matter of heathens squatting in the docks. People are leaving us to join them. And we must pray for them like any other. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sirrah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? Oh, Varric! Oh, oh, oh. We protect those of the Kuhn. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. Holy fuck, I just realized my mouth was open for like a solid five seconds. <laughs> but seriously. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city? When we fail our own so completely. It's, ugh, how can you even say that at this point? The threat is the Chantry. The Arashok is still here, Excellency. You must be ready to stand up to him. I cannot. I have already failed where it mattered most. Please, Hawk, leave me. Ah, oh, fuck the Chantry. Oh my god. There are many reasons to fuck the Chantry. And this just adds to the list. All right, let's go home. But the Canari and the Chantry and the Viscount's dead son won't simply fade from memory. Nobody came out of that looking good. What now? Not our move. We wait to see what the Arashok does. Oh, fuck the Chantry. Jesus Christ.
Well, we don't have a single quest. I know we're supposed to go home, but there's no markers. Hmm. I wonder if now's a good... Oh. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off oh. your high horse. I have problems, too. <laughs> what drink should I order, and who's the father? Oh, you little... What is it now, you two? Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! <laughs> Got your attention? Real problem. But hold on. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying, maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. Oh no, it's making me pick things? I don't want to pick things. Ah, fuck. Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Kunari? They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. And oh, no. if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. Uh, I, I, I get that. That makes sense. You can't just be like, oh, I'm convicted of a crime, but now I'm in the queue so you can't touch me. Um, but I, I don't know. When elves are involved, I'm always a little bit more skeptical um, of the entirety of the ordeal because there's a lot of discrimination involved. So I want to make sure that like they're being treated fairly and that the claims are accurate, the claims against them, and not just based on bigotry. You're expecting trouble? After what happened to the Viscount's son? Yes. I'm hoping the Canari aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. This seems like an issue for you and your guards. <laughs> Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. But... I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. I'd like to help him if I can. Why has this come up so suddenly, Isabella? Sam's been talking to black market dealers all over Lowtown. It didn't take me long to get wind of it. What frustrates me is that he's held onto the relic so long. Tell me about Sam. Sam used to run with Martin. Remember him? Martin says Sam's a bit of a magpie, picking up things that don't belong to him. Not a trustworthy sort. When Martin gave up raiding, Sam became a drifter. Who is involved in this exchange? Tevinter mages. I doubt they'll look kindly on us interrupting. Bring a sword, or twelve. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I, I know it's a book. But that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. Why are you being shady, honey? This is the first time you've seen her, like... Uncomfortable. Or... What is it? Almost afraid. Okay, so here's my rationale. I think we're going to help Isabella, and here's why. The Arashok matter is something that, yes, affects greater number of individuals. It is 
I guess, more of a public matter, though, whereas Isabella's is more of a private matter, and her life might be on the line. Yes, yes, I understand that there might be a conflict with the era shock that might lead to bloodshed, but there's more definitive bloodshed with Isabella than there is with Aveline. Not to mention that I can help well, I can help both of them easily. But there are other people who can help Aveline, whereas I feel like with Isabella, our direct contribution will be much more... We'll have a higher value. Does that make sense? And we can always do the era shock in a hot second, right? I, I, I guess I'm more worried. I'm playing off the fact that Isabella is nervous. She's antsy. And so I feel like, yes, I understand the air shock is pressing and that we, we might have a mom mentality. God, I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass. Oh, don't be mad, Isabella. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Canari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low town foundry. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think she planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short, but nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. All right. Well, damn, I hope I did the right thing. Um, and as you can probably tell, I now have a kitten. Um, oh. Okay, so we're definitely gonna leave it here. And I, oof, I'm gonna be worried about that. I didn't even know that was coming, that we'd have to make this choice between Aveline and Isabel. Uh, I hope we can go back and help Aveline too. I, I get that we might want to, we went, I get that we might have wanted to help Aveline if we only get the choice of one because it is oh, more impact. Ah, oh, there are perfectly valid reasons for both. I hate this. Okay, guys. Oh, man. Talk about cliffhangers. I'm really excited to keep playing this, though. I don't know when Act 3 starts, but I'm assuming that I will definitely know like, act two was pretty clear. Okay, okay. I'm going to stop, like, wrapping myself up in, in all of this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time.